Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. We're starting this vlog at night because I wanted this vlog to be like a little bit of pack and prep with me for our trip. So I'm kind of doing a little bit of prep. I just took a shower because I needed to exfoliate off my self tanner because I have a spray tan appointment tomorrow night. Um, and I wanted like to shave, wash my hair. So I just freshly washed, blew out my hair, curled it, did all of that. It's like nine o'clock at night and I'm about to dermaplane my face. I always do this like every two to four weeks, more so like towards like the three, four. I don't have a ton of peach fuzz on my face, but I definitely get it pretty like aggressively around my jawline and stuff and it's really blonde light hair. So I feel like whenever I do it, it just helps with um, putting my makeup on and things like that. And I'm about to go on a trip. So I just wanted to do it quick. I wanted to share the brand I use. I use Flamingo, obsessed with their products. Refillable Dermaplane razor. So it literally just pops in and out fresh blade and then there's a little cap it's really really nice quality and then the box here that i'm showing you i'll link this below for you guys um it actually comes with a second cartridge so i always do this at night which is why i started the vlog tonight because i wanted to share freshly washed fresh face clean face and then i just put a thick layer of moisturizer on i'm actually going to do that now so just like a thick layer of moisturizer just to give my skin that extra little barrier and then i will gently do this it exfoliates and leaves the skin so smooth and then i'll just like like sleep overnight and the next day I'll be ready to go. But if you do it like during the day, I tend to wait around like eight-ish hours before I put makeup on. Um, and if you're going out in the sun, make sure you use SPF because your face is like fresh skin. It feels like a baby's bottom. So we're gonna do this and I will link this product below for you guys. So definitely check it out. We are going on a baby moon. I cannot believe how quick, but also slow at the same time this pregnancy is going. Um, we are actually going to Puerto Vallarta and staying at a really fun resort. They actually are sending us out and hosting us and I'm so excited. We weren't gonna take a trip because I just felt like we had a lot going on and then we ended up throwing a move on top of it. But I figured Dylan and I could use one last trip together, just us two, which is so crazy to think. Um, and I'm excited. We're only going for three nights. We fly out Monday morning early and then we um, come back Thursday night late. So it's not a long trip. The dogs are gonna stay at the farm and then, um, We'll be back Thursday night. I just take my skin and pull it a little bit and then I just do like downward angle. I mean, it leaves it so, so smooth. I don't know if you can see the little peach fuzz, but we're taking just a little trip, just us two for the last time, which is literally so crazy. I cannot believe that we're about to be parents. And I feel like what's crazier is you think that you have all this time, like we were actually just talking about this tonight. You think you have all this time to prepare and stuff and you do like, obviously it takes 40 weeks to grow a baby, but I was telling Dylan, I was like, when I get back from the baby, I'm I'll almost be 30 weeks. And then I'm like, the countdown is really on. I'm like, we've got to get the nursery together. I go home the weekend after for a baby shower. Um, and it's just like busy and then it's Easter and then it's like full on once May hits because his due date is June 1st I'm like once May hits I feel like we need to be ready for this baby to come any second because I feel like you never know like the baby could come early I mean you never really know this is like the most satisfying thing all oh, that beach buzz it just like now my makeup will go on so smooth and nice i never used to dermaplane my face until my sisters and mom told me that they were doing it and i was like wait and then i started getting facials and she would do it for me and then i realized that i could just like do it at home with this and this is such a nice high quality that i feel like it really gets the job done i don't ever really do my forehead it's really just like this area right here that i feel like i need it done you definitely don't want to apply like excessive pressure because there's just no need, it glides on so easily. Smooth as a baby's bottom, I'm gonna apply one more layer of moisturizer just before bed. We'll be good to go in the morning. I'll be able to like wear makeup and stuff. I probably won't just cause we'll be getting a spray tan tomorrow. But anyways, I just feel like we need to be ready for this baby to come in any second. Um, and then I was also telling Dylan earlier, I was like, I'm kind of, I think I'm gonna be one of those situations, maybe ask me in five weeks if I still think the same thing when I'm like super uncomfortable and just whatever. I think I'm starting to get to that, like I am starting to get to when I'm sitting in a chair or when I'm like leaning over and eating or anything like that. My, I feel like my belly's starting to get in the way and I can feel a little bit uncomfortable. Um, but I also feel like I'm really gonna miss being pregnant. I feel like it's been such a magical and like wonderful thing for me to experience. And I think I was talking about this in a few vlogs ago about like how, like watching my body change and all that kind of stuff. 
and it really is just like the craziest thing. We're definitely getting big over here and I just like love it. I love having my bump and I know I definitely will miss it, but I also at the same time, I'm like so ready to meet this baby, so. I don't know, I think there'll be mixed emotions for sure. I'm gonna get into bed. I just wanted to share this product. I will link it down below for you guys. I love that it is a refillable. Um, I just keep these little extra cartridges in my drawer because nothing is worse than like using a dull one of these and trying to do it, it just like does not work. So these are super, super high quality, really nice. Um, and this is my refillable one. So I'm gonna put this in here. This is like very heavyweight, sturdy, just a good one to use, especially if you're nervous about doing it by yourself at home like I was. Um, definitely go with like a good brand and Flamingo has a really, really good one. So check them out. I'll link it below for you guys. I'm going to get in bed and I will see you guys tomorrow for like all the prep. I have a nail appointment, get my toes done, spray tan. Um, I've really been into getting spray tans. I feel like it's easier than self tanning these days. So that's what we will do. It's not till tomorrow night, but we're going to have a full day of just like packing. I need to try on outfits. I have no idea what I'm going to bring on this trip. I have like a few things laid out in the bed. Um, in the guest room, but really other than that, I haven't really like planned outfits like I normally do because I feel like very few things fit me these days. Hi you guys, it is Sunday morning. I just drove to Barista Parlor to grab a little latte. Our coffee machine is not working. It's been acting up ever since we moved it over to the new place and it won't like the milk frother is all like messed up and every time we try to use it, it says like notify factory or something like that. So I think we need to send it in, which is really sad because I feel like we had it on like the perfect settings. But then about two days ago, it stopped working. So anyways, um, I just ran and grabbed a coffee from Barista Parlor, a little vanilla latte. I'm gonna go get my nails done. I I don't need to get my nails done. Like they're not super grown out, but they're, I feel like by the end of the trip going to be very grown out. So I'm not sure what to do about the nails. I know for sure I'm gonna get my toes done because my toes need to be done. Um, but my nails, I'm kind of like, do I just suck it up and keep these for the next three days, four days? And then change them before my baby shower next week. I'm not sure what to do. But I kind of wanted to get like a fun color for Mexico. So I think I'm going to vlog the baby moon. I wasn't going to. But then a few nights ago, I was watching back our honeymoon vlog. Which I also wasn't going to vlog. And I'm like so glad that I did. Because having those memories and getting to rewatch it is so special. So I'm like I definitely want to vlog the last trip that Dylan and I go on. As just like him and I before the baby's here so I definitely probably will be vlogging the baby moon it might not be like the longest vlog it might just be a few clips here and there but I definitely want to get like some memories on the vlog for you guys and for us so I definitely will be vlogging I'm gonna bring my vlog camera and yeah today is just a little prep day for the trip I need to go home after the nails pick out outfits getting a spray tan tonight and just random little things like that get the house ready have some laundry to do i love to come home to a clean house from a vacation so i definitely want to get like laundry going everything just kind of like picked up to the best that it can be picked up especially because we just moved things are kind of crazy so anyways we're gonna go get our nails done check back in after the nail salon i'm not sure what we'll do for the nails or if we'll just keep them so updates to come Look at that. Fair, that's all I can do. <laughs> girls, okay? I'll miss you. I'll miss you. I'll miss you so much, okay? Would you have fun? And you play with the other dogs? And you be nice dogs to the other dogs, okay? Okay? How will I leave for a trip and leave our baby if I can't even leave them? Well, it makes me sad to leave the dog, so I can't imagine leaving the baby. Alright, let's go. <laughs> so I'm excited to go. Come on, Winnie. Rail, in here. Come on. Come on, Winnie, let's load up in here. Winnie has a hard time getting. Ooh, Winnie's got some height. <laughs> 
Bye, babies. I will miss you. Have fun, okay? I'll come get you a few days, okay? We love you. It's such a nice sunny day, Dylan and I just sat out here for the longest time. I ate my smoothie bowl and the dogs are off to the farm, so I'm gonna go inside. You like really need to pack. It's so much easier, I feel like, for boys to pack for trips. He literally packed in five seconds. I think that we're both gonna try to do a carry-on just because we have a layover in Atlanta that's quick and I do not want our luggage getting lost because we're only there for three days. I'm like, if we don't have our luggage for the whole first day, that would suck, but travel outfit, set up the passport, his carry-on, and then we keep the suitcases in here. And I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do my orange carry-on, but it is in side of this one, so I need to get it out. Yeah, it's literally inside this one too. <laughs> Okay, we're outfit planning. I have this dress. I got this like a few weeks ago from Shopbop. I think it's really pretty. I think it will look much better when I have a tan. I look like ghostly right now, um, but it's a little bit sheer. So I just put on these like skim boy shorts underneath and then just like this skims bralette. I'm thinking flip flops and then just one of these little tiny toads. I got this bag at the end of summer last year and it's just like this really cute little shell that I've never got to carry. So if I do black, I could tie this bag in with some gold hoops or something, or I can just keep it neutral and just bring this bag for the whole trip. This little baby one is from Jenny Kane. So I might bring these two bags and then my like carry-on I'm gonna use as my beach bag. But I think that this dress is really pretty. It goes all the way to the ground. It's just like really comfy and easy to throw on for dinner and it is cute with the bump. I have this top that I got this past summer in Europe at Zara and I thought it was really cute with the belly if I don't want to have like my whole entire belly out but it still <laughs> fits and then I just recently got these linen pants if I can find them on their website I will link them but they're from Target the brand is a new day they were like how much 25 bucks and I got a size large and they're so like oversized and really good quality they're not see-through which is nice because I feel like it's hard to find like a white linen pant to wear to dinner um, without spending a fortune with my growing body um, so I think this is cute, just like little sandals. And then again, I can do a little bag, a comfy chill dinner outfit, especially like, cause we get in a little bit later in the afternoon tomorrow. So maybe this will just be like an easy outfit to throw on for the first night. Super light and doesn't take up much room to pack. So we'll do this for another dinner outfit. And then I need to do one or two more options maybe. I swear everything I buy in like is white. I feel like my whole wardrobe is white, but I'm literally only bringing tons of bikinis. I have this black one and then I have this blue one piece, which is super cute. And then I need to throw one more two piece in there. But how cute is this little cover up situation? I got this off Revolve and this is the matching skirt. It goes all the way to the ground. And I just think it's so cute for a little cover up. And then I just have my little black bikini on underneath it. This will be like during the day outfit to the pool or beach and then I have this as my beach bag and then I'll just do black flip-flops. I'm gonna bring a pair of black Javiana flip-flops and then white and then like a nicer pair, just like a pair of flats. I'm not gonna bring any heels on this trip, but a nicer pair for like dinners and stuff for the restaurants. But how cute is this skirt? I will link it if you're a bride. It would look so cute <laughs> if you're pregnant or not. Um, but yeah, really cute little set. These linen pants are from Monday Swimwear. I got them last year, but I got them in a large and they were like always way too big, but now they fit really nicely that I'm pregnant, but I wanted to show you the Hunza one piece on. It just fits so nicely and it's so comfortable. Um, and it's like really cute. I used to wear these before I was pregnant and it's one size fits most. I feel like they say fits all, but I just like don't think that it is. But with the bump, it's really cute. So if you're pregnant and you're looking for a good swimsuit, like I feel the most confident in these and this brand. I just feel like it has good coverage like on the crotch area. The butt is like not too cheeky and I just really like it. So I'm gonna be packing basically all Hunza G bikinis, but I have a few other things. This is like a little um, set. I have this little Frankie's bikini set. So I will link some of these outfits below. I feel like I'm running out of time. My spray tan lady is about to be here in like 30 minutes. So I need to get this all tried on and packed. So we're gonna pack. You guys will see all the outfits in the baby moon vlog. We've got the for sure's that I've already tried on over here. I'm gonna add this to the pile and then I just need like maybe one or two more outfits and then one more pool outfit. I'm trying to keep it simple for handbags and shoes, but I really wanna bring 
this bag if you guys saw a few vlogs back i got this little bucket bag it would be super cute with a lot of my outfits but i'm only bringing a carry-on and i feel like it's gonna get smushed so i put a bunch of shoes and stuff up here dylan and i went to the other house and got all these bins and everything is like very organized my beach bag was sitting right there i just took it down but i'm like debating i'm going back and forth on this bag fresh spray tan i feel like a new human i feel so much better <laughs> so i'm just letting this drive on like a loose little pajama outfit i am waiting on dylan to get back he went to like a recruiting dinner um and he's gonna bring me a chicken salad i just posted the second moving vlog which i think i'm just gonna wrap it up there just one part one and two for moving vlogs and then just keep like the organizing and stuff type of content that you guys want to see in the normal day-to-day -day vlogs but um dylan and i made a tiktok about this but i never talked about it on the vlog and i know some of you guys don't have tiktok but i've been on like candy tiktok i made that candy salad for valentine's day and then i saw a ton of people posting about this candy shop in new york it's a swedish candy company called bonbon and so i ordered some candy from their website probably like over a month ago it took so long to get here and i got this is the jelly i got three bags of it this is the like jelly one and it's all swedish candy so it's all like really <laughs> insane sour mix and then we've got the jelly and marshmallow mix which this one is so strange like some of these are let me show you like these marshmallow pieces not my favorite this is the sweet one and i haven't tried all of them yet but my thing with them is that they were so chewy and hard for us to chew. I don't know if I got a bad bag, but then I posted about them on TikTok and some of you guys were like, no, they were like this for me. But then some of you guys were like, no, they're supposed to be really soft. Oh wait, they're like softer today. Why are they softer today? Wait, that one was so good. <laughs> This is the sour one. They're out of New York City, so if you visit New York, go to the actual shop. Wait, why are they like soft and really good right now? Did something happen? This is the jelly one. My jaw literally just cracked. See, this one's a little bit harder still. I mean, literally look at this. <laughs> Pretty much packed. I just need to get everything into the suitcase. I'm waiting on Dylan to get back, have an early dinner. I want to get into bed early tonight because we have to be up. Our flight is at what time? We leave at, we board at 7.30, so we have to get up around 5.45, 6. Gives us like an hour and a half to get to the airport, get through security, all that kind of stuff. I'm the type of person when I travel, I have like airport anxiety. I'm not the person that can roll up last second and be like, cutting it close with the checked in bag and all that kind of stuff like i need to be able to go there i need to be able to sit i need to be able to get a snack and just like prepare myself for the flight i'm such a flight anxiety type of person i feel like i've talked about this on my channel before so when earlier dylan and i were talking about what time we need to leave and he's like i know we're going to be getting up three hours before the flight because i'm traveling with you but i just like like to be there early i just think it's better safe than sorry type of thing i am always early to everything though like i'm always on time my parents have taught us like growing up on time is 15 minutes early so i just am always early to everything but when it comes to like traveling and flights i do not like being late or being rushed or feeling rushed so i'm always like on top of it and i think we're just gonna drive to the airport we're not gonna uber we're just gonna drive and park our car because we're only gone for like four days um so we'll just like valley the car so we'll be right up at the front so it'll be like easy for parking and stuff but I don't know i have like flight anxiety about time and stuff so i always have to be like early i want to be relaxed relaxed <laughs> do not mess around with that <laughs> are you gonna ever not have a shaved head no why it's just so much easier i'll probably do my beard shouldn't we or do you want to finish my hair first uh, no, we need to do the beard, but not me, you. Is that one better? Yeah. Okay. 
I just packed up my toll tree bag. This is my skincare and then like toothpaste and deodorant, my retainer. I've got makeup in this one with like cotton swabs and some tweezers. And then we've got, this is just a bunch of random hair stuff and then some lip stuff and then some body lotion, body oil, stuff like that. So we have this, I have my curling iron on. I'm just gonna touch up my curls because then I won't have to do it in the morning. And then I don't even think I'm gonna bring a hot tool because my hair is just gonna be like probably up in a bun the whole time. Everything's gonna fit in this carry-on, which I am so shocked about. I had to put that knit little white set in Dylan's suitcase because it kind of took up a big chunk. But other than that, I'm gonna put all my toll tree bags right there. And I think we'll be good. This is my travel outfit. This I'm gonna use as my carry-on like I was telling you guys. Two pair of sunglasses. I always carry my jewelry on with me even though I'm like checking the bag. I'm just gonna put it into here. Um, air tag I'm gonna throw in there. This is my everyday jewelry that I'm gonna put on. Little electronic bag that's gonna go in to here as well with my laptop. Headphones, bunch of cameras. This is another little Stony Clover pouch that has just like some random stuff. Element, perfume, a pen, just random things. A bunch of Tums because pregnant gal over here. Dylan stopped at Publix and got a lot of like low bills to tip a lot of the employees at the resort. I have my phone and then a backup phone. I always travel with this phone because when my phone got stolen in Europe, it was the worst. So I always travel with two phones. I think that kind of wraps up the packing. Starting one last load of wash. And then I'm just gonna fold this and then literally all the laundry in the house will be done, which will be so nice to come home to like no laundry. The tan is developing quickly. I'm gonna rinse off in the morning. I'm gonna set my alarm for five o'clock. We're gonna leave the house by 5.45. So I'm gonna wrap up this vlog. The next vlog will be a fun little travel vlog, which we have not done in so, so long. I'm gonna do a little teeth whitening quick, brush my teeth and then Get in bed. I'm just watching a little bit of YouTube in bed. Dylan's downstairs. I just finished up doing some laundry and I feel like this vlog was maybe on the shorter side, but I hope you guys enjoyed just a little Sunday getting ready for our trip. I'm so excited to be traveling and I'm excited to bring you guys along. So love y'all and we will see you in Mexico.